Okay, everybody, um, um, in my video before this video, I had mentioned that maybe you should, um, send me some emails, um, pretty much I'll be doing a, uh, fan mail thing for a little bit, um, I want to put your guys' voice out there, so, um, I got some really, really awesome, uh, questions from Rick Pigeon, um, who is actually my youngest viewer. Um, he is 13, very smart, very uh, down to earth, very weird, so he's very cool. I like him, I like hearing from him. He's always got really nice things to say. Um, so Rick, you have the privilege of being um, yeah, you have the privilege of being my first fan mail, I guess. My fan mail video, anyways. Um, so, Rick sent me eight questions, and those eight questions are about to be answered. So, Rick, thank you for some really good questions. And they're not like, you know, these stupid-ass questions like, are you single? You know, that's kind of r ridiculous to ask somebody on the internet anyways, right? Alrighty. So... With what, without much, you know, further ado, I'm going to get down to Rick's questions. And question one was, what are some of your some of your favorite foods? Well, Rick, when I was a very, very, very heavy girl, um, like almost 500 pounds, um, my favorite foods were just about anything, really. Um, now, as I am only 212 pounds, yay. I've lost eight pounds since I've done this, uh, since I've been doing YouTube. Um, my favorite foods now, I would have to say, are, hmm, I don't know, I'd say oranges. I'm absolutely crazy over oranges. Now, my favorite junk food, I have to say, oh, this is embarrassing. I love saltwater taffy. Just love it. Um, I can't eat it very often because I am diabetic. Um, as far as meals go, um, Chinese food. Or, you know, my all-time favorite food is gyros, which is uh, a pita bread with lamb. And then there's, you know, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, and then there's cucumber sauce. It's Greek, it's good, and it's oh so good. <laughs> Okay, question number two. A goal that I have. What is one goal that I have? Um, honestly, I want to be somewhat of a celebrity for, I don't know, maybe being an honest person, I guess. Um, no, I want to be famous for my poetry, which I probably won't be famous for my poetry until after I'm dead and gone, like most writers. Um, one thing I want to do in my life. Oh, I want to be a mom. One day I would love to be a mother. Um, but I'm not going to talk on that subject because it is touchy. Um, number three, favorite band or music. I'm very eclectic with my music. I can sit and chill to Ludwig von Beethoven or Patsy Cline, Elvis Presley or I can you know uh, let me think of some more recent band. Pantera Love Pantera, Damage Plan, Metallica um, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Joan Jett and the Black Hearts um, Collective Soul, Ozzy Osbourne uh, Def Leppard, Leonard Skinner, um, Pink Floyd, uh, let's see, I also like things like, um, Say Anything, Blink-182, uh, Boxcar Racer, My Chemical Romance, um, let's see, Him, Hinder, Pink, Katy Perry, um, Murder Dolls, Lacuna Coil, um, <laughs> Um, within Temptation, Love Within Temptation, 
um, Zero Mancer, Guns N' Roses, I hate Velvet Revolver, um, and I despise Britney Spears. Um, let's see, we're going to move off of the music subject, okay? Alrighty. How was high school for you? Honestly, I will tell everybody that you need the high school education, but for me, high school was absolutely terrible. I quit school when I was 15 years old. I was three months away from turning 16. I was beaten up really bad in school, made fun of because I was the fat girl, so I quit school, and a few years later, I went back, and um, I was no longer the fat girl. Let's just put it that way. Um, high school was an absolute nightmare for me. Um, what are some things you want to be doing in the next couple of years? Traveling Europe and going to Italy. Or traveling the country and going to California, Washington, Oregon, Hawaii, something like that. One of those places. Um, time traveling. Would you do it? And if so, where would you go? Interesting, you should ask me that. Yes, I would definitely do time traveling. Um, though I don't want, I don't think I would want to go to the past. I mean, I think it would be interesting, but if you go to the past, something's going to change, and then everything's going to be different from what we know it is as now. I'd want to go to the future. Um, Maybe not my own future, because I don't want to know how my future is going to turn out until I get there. But, um, I would like to know where the world's going. Um, I don't believe in the end of the world and that kind of crap, so don't talk to me about it. Um, I'd want to see, you know, who's the new celebrities and shit like that, but other than that, you know, nothing really. Um, nothing too big. Um, let's see... Number seven, ever want to live in a different state, province, or country? Yes. A couple countries I want to live in, Japan, Korea, China, um, Malaysia, Ireland, Italy, Paris. Um, well, Paris isn't really a country. It's a city in a country, so France. Um, states I would like to live in, Oregon. Plain and simple, Oregon. And then I'd like to move to Maine. Um, uh, I think that's it. I'd like to do a lot of traveling. Okay, if you had to give to a foundation or charity, which would you give to? Very good question. And I would uh, give to the Duro Foundation for Lupus. Um... That's what I would give it to. And I'd probably give to um, a couple charities for bipolar, manic depression, um, schizophrenia, mainly because my mother goes through all of that. And um, it's really hard on people. So, these were all really good questions, um, Rick. So, I really appreciate you taking the time to think them up. And um, I hope I answered them uh, to your liking. Um, leave me some feedback, as you always do, and to everybody out there watching, live like it's the last moon rising, and who knows, maybe I'll do some of your questions or read some of your letters on the air.